Hi you guys, I am back. Um, yeah, I am back. I colored my hair, um, or bleached my hair again. I will actually be adding color to it soon. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Give it a like, a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, do whatever you want to do. I'm going to change my lighting really quickly here. There we go. Um, okay. Cool. Let's hop right in and get started. Um, first things first, we're going to go with the eyes. We're going to be using the Urban Decay Eyeshadow um, Primer Potion. And this bad boy here. And pop this on the eyelid. If there is any left, there, which there is a ton left, so there we go. Now, this looks going to be a little bit different from the rest. Um, I'm going to be using a black lip today, which I never, ever use a black lip. So, we'll see how this turns out. I'm going to let that sit on my eyes for a second. Um, while I will be using that liquid um, eyeshadow again, or... I don't even know what to call it. And there goes my lighting because it keeps going in and out. Um, but it was like that liquid that like dries almost like into a solid. So I don't know what to call it. Mix this up a little bit. So then it's easier to work with. I just took the pointy end of a dirty brush and just mixed it with the pointy end because I don't have anything to mix with at the moment. I'm going to blend this in. This is kind of dried out so I'm going to kind of just blend that in as best as I can. This stuff dries fast on your eyelids, like really fast. It's tacky. Which, I mean, it's supposed to be tacky because it's supposed to keep eyeshadow on your eyelids. So, there's that. Eh. <laughs> I'll make it work. So, next we're going to be using um, um, another brush. Um, it's these brushes here. Um, this is actually the angled brush. I used the circular brush in last time's video and it got really dirty and filled with glitter so and I haven't cleaned my brushes yet so we're gonna use this brush hopefully it'll do the same thing that eyeshadow I'm using is from Butter London in the shade Spark this is what she looks like here and this is the cap to it looks just like the other one but this is a gold shade instead of the pink shade. I'm just going to very carefully apply this to my eyelid. And make sure I cover up 
I know it's quite high and big, but this is the only eyeshadow, to say the least, that I'm going to be using today. Excuse me. <laughs> Move on to the next lid. I've actually had these for a couple of years and I haven't actually like gotten a chance to use them until now so they're quite old in the market but I like these these are nice The only downside about this is when it dries in the pan, it gets really clumpy, so then you have to water it down um, and mix it, and water it down and mix it, because it'll continue to get dry. Um, so it's up to your discretion if you want to keep these and continue to do that. I don't mind doing that, because I don't use makeup that often, so it doesn't bother me. <laughs> then I have to do that. Next, we're going straight to the face. We are done with the eyelids for now. Um, we're going to be using the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. Um, this one looks like this. Um, I don't know if they sell this one in this container anymore. They might use a different container. This primer is clear and it feels like silicone. It feels wonderful. Uh, let me see if it is made out of silicone. I always forget. Um, our award winning award winning silky formula instantly creates a velvety smooth even complexion. So I don't know exactly what it's made out of but feels great <laughs> I like it smooth is right <laughs> but like I said it feels like silicone I did prep my lips using my sister's chapstick or um, cosmetic line that she is launching which I will link below I love her chapstick. She has amazing chapstick. I will do a video probably sometime this week and upload it in regards to just her stuff. It will not be paid. It's just to help promote her business and to grow her business. Ugh, this feels so good. <laughs> Next, I should have done this earlier, but I'm going to prep my beauty blender with some water always keep a jar of water next to you so you don't have to get up <laughs> and then put a little bit more on that so you can get a good squeeze and a good bounce out of it the foundation I'm going to be using is the Bliss Cosmetics Foundation in the shade Buff. Um, it comes in a tube like this, almost like a giant lipstick tube, and she looks like this. A lot of foundations come in a tube like this. So far, notifications on my phone, just lovely. And I'm actually going to use a brush to apply it. It's going to be another one of these brushes. I got these brushes for Christmas as a gift so I don't really know where they are from. Maybe Walmart, maybe Target, I don't know. 
but they're nice. I like them. They're soft, they're smooth. They get the job done. I like this flat brush. Okay, and that's plenty for now. I'm going to blend that in and see what we got after. So I'm blending with the big rounded side on my sponge. Um, some people use sponges, some people use brushes. I use sponges even though it soaks up more product in the actual sponge. I don't like using brushes because they leave streaks on my face. Why that is, I don't know. It just always is like that every time I use a brush to blend my makeup out. Don't forget to get your chin and your neck. Excuse me. Okay. Jeez. Okay. So, next for concealer, I'm gonna, I'm going to be going in with the Sephora Bright Future Gel Serum Concealer in the shade 12. Um, I like this concealer. It's really nice, and this is the empty one. <laughs> I forgot to throw away. <coughs> I do have another one. What did I do with my uh, right there? So here we go. I'm gonna apply this a little bit differently. I'm gonna apply it to the inner corner of the eye, and then the outer corner of the eye. This concealer is a little bit dark and yellow. It's more yellowy than, or more like orangey tone than normal on my skin right now because we are in January and in winter and there's snow. So, yeah, it works just fine for now. And I'm not leaving the house because it's almost midnight that I'm filming, so. I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> in the middle of January, in the winter, at midnight. Let that sit for a minute, and then take a swig of some Gatorade. Not sponsored, just really thirsty. Okay. Blend this out. I'm going to use the flat side of my beauty blender as my body is making all sorts of noises.
get that blended out. I'm going to be using the pointy side to get my eyes. And make sure I seem a bit more lifted. At least mine anyways. I don't know if that's going to ring true for everybody. When I apply concealer like this. It's hard because I don't have my magnified mirror anymore. I have a different mirror with lighting on it. So it's hard to see if I miss stuff. I think that's good. We're going to set the face with the uh, Derma, Derma uh, D-E-R-M-A-E Sun Protection Mineral Powder. She looks like this. This little teeny tiny thing in comparison. That's what that is. I love this stuff. I got this as a gift to don't know where to find it. I'll probably do some Google searching to see where I can find more of this stuff because this stuff is great. It's like heaven on earth. Set my face with this. It literally just melts in your skin and it's beautiful. It's not sticky, it's not tacky, it's not dry, it doesn't dry your skin out. There's no flashback on it when you take pictures with flash, like it's just it's lovely. Like, if I could set my whole face with this, I would. But I'm not going to because that's a lot of makeup on the face, especially for setting powder. I need some more. This is how I get it out. <laughs> I have dog hair everywhere. For those of you who know, I have a dog. I think I gave it in my last video. I'm gonna set my lips because I'm using black. And black will bleed. I learned that from somebody very important in my life. And my foundation is already coming off on my nose right here. Like, if anybody has any tips or tricks on how to keep foundation on your nose and everywhere on your nose, please let me know. I've tried everything. <laughs> so please let me know. 
excuse me because my face just it just doesn't work <laughs> it just doesn't work sometimes next we'll be going in with this brush here this is the angled brush these brushes look the same this is a fluffier one this is the angled one as you can see the bronzer we will be using is the Rimmel London natural bronzer um, she looks like this packaging is kind of beat up in the shade 022 sun bronze as you can see I started to hit pan already but I don't know you can see the little design the little sun design that is on it I love this stuff this stuff is amazing So what I'm doing is when I apply it, I apply the longer angled side down and then go up. my temples and the perimeter of my face I'm going to be so sad when this is gone when this bronzer is gone because this is one of my favorite bronzers in the whole world it's cheap too I think it was like two three dollars at the time that I bought it. I haven't bought a new one since. That's just a red mark on my face right here. Okay. Mm, the perimeter of my face is done. I'm going to get my nose really quickly with a uh, same brand, just a fluffy brush. Um, I'm going to hit my nose with this really quickly. Carve on my nose a little bit, right at the edge of it. You carve out your nose and you can shape your nose how you want it to be. So I'm trying to shape it smaller. Okay. So there is that for my nose. That is done. Mm, I love this stuff. It's going to be a sad day when that goes. Let me find a highlighter brush really quickly. This will work. Okay. 
next I'm going to start on my lips um, the lip liner I'm going to be using is actually brown and not black I don't have a black lip liner and forgot to look for one <laughs> um, so I'm using the Academy of Color lip liner in the shade brown um, I don't remember the name um, but it looks like this. The name would usually sit here, but it's rubbed off. And she is dull. So, I'm going to take a pencil sharpener and sharpen her. Well, I guess we're not using lip liner today because, guess what, here it is. <laughs> what do I do to myself? I don't know. So this whole thing is going to get thrown away. I just have to laugh at myself with things like that but moving on the lipstick we're going to be using is from wet n wild um i think the girls mess with this because there is gum stuck on here so i'm wiping it off with a makeup wipe and it has antibacterial in it so that's nice story of my life <laughs> okay we're using uh, wet and wild in the shade black she looks like this let me take it off nice black tone here we go I like it. <laughs> I like it. Gold eye and some black lips. I like it. Okay, we're going to hop right into some highlighter. We're using the Mary, the Balm Mary Lou um, sample highlighter. Looks like this. The regular size would look like this. So, in comparison. That's what that is. The brush we're using is a Real Techniques contour brush. So it's kind of fluffy, but we're going to use it as highlight. The highlighter brush. When you open it, she looks like this. Super cute. Again, I got this years ago too, and I still haven't hit paint on it. I'm going to apply this to the cheekbones. Just 
goes barely to under the brow. And get some on the bridge of my nose. And then I'm going to apply some to my lips. So I'm going to take my finger, get some on my finger, and just pat it in the center of the I'm going to take a clean finger and take another clean finger and apply another coat. And then my last clean finger. I'm the type of person that likes to slowly build up color instead of just like boom in your face already. Besides the black. Um, that way I know what my limit is with certain things so there's that um next i'm going to be adding some mascara the mascara i'm using is also a butter london um brand or a butter london product it's the double decker excuse me double decker lashes mascara she looks like this I love this mascara. Pop it on the eyelashes. You could rock this look for Black History Month and ain't nobody gonna judge you. Nobody. Or you can rock this look as a Halloween costume and ain't nobody gonna judge you. Or New Year's. That's really pretty. <laughs> like, really pretty. Um, you can add a bottom coat on mascara if you want to. You can add red to your lips if you want to. Um, but other than that, this is the final. I always do this. <laughs> this is the final look or finished look. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed everything today. It was a shorter bit um, of a video. Um, I'm trying to keep everything shorter. But with the stuff that I have, that is not really an option. So, there's that. Um, again, like, subscribe, comment down below. Do whatever you feel free you want to do. Um, look in the description box down below for all the product details, brush details, upcoming events, web pages, social media, everything. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will catch you later. Bye.